I find that it's a core, core, core. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 it's not flavor, right? There, there. What's on nowhere, though? But we didn't, we didn't play it, so I was just, you know, we, we never there, played it. Nah, we never played it. What we played last week? Flavor, right? Flavor, right. Yeah, I see, I see. So, yeah, <laughs> that, that can't stand up next to no flavor. Anyway, it, it, nah, I that was a real thing. song. Like a parano or something. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Song. For real? Yeah, yeah. 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 They're coming up on track. Yeah, that was our Christmas song. I ain't sure, I ain't sure. I feel like 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 I ain't sure. So, <laughs> before we get to the guests, we yeah. just have to stress on the fact that this is lecture 10, a milestone. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Um, yeah. 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 This is our vibes. Um, our back desk. You know why? Right? Patrick Murray. This, <laughs> this idea was a real organic idea. With to uh, paint on Darren. Easy paint on. Tisha, who I'm here right now. Big Suna here right now. You, myself, Kadeem. We have some uh, on the team now, and um, <laughs> we here with a with a <laughs> cover magazine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we here with a special special guest. I'll leave him to introduce himself. Don't forget talking to the mic. Boys. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> Let the people know. Yeah, guys, making them jokes. <laughs> 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 the community don't take them. I like to join on there. I like to. Lou Lions from Bubble Lady, Bubble Lady, Bubble Lady. And I just say because I really like the wild out and I don't get the wild out because we'll just be super positive. Yeah, boy. So I can talk real shit. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> because we're not too bad one too, but you know, we can keep it moving. <laughs> See you come with again. Hold on, you ready? Yeah. So we don't know what you're seeing. It's a yeah. set. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're gonna start. I, I come with coffee though. I had a flask of coffee, me and Morgan. We stand oh. on <laughs> <laughs> Guinness. This is your coffee. Guinness, yeah, 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 yeah. Cut the check, Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. Pass that button. Cut the check. So, so I'll have. Coconut water. Professor Lovu, how are we starting off today, boy? Hey, um, I think we had to make a little quick round up before we actually get into the vibes. Well, we have artists in the and we have some artists. Wait, wait, wait. So, if I'm a guest, I'm a guest lecturer. Yeah, yeah. guest lecturer. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, professor. Start up. Professor Lovu. Professor Lovu. Maybe you don't know him. He's our workshop. Yeah. 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 You are your own desk in the staff room, you know, the staff room on the AC. <laughs> you are your own desk, you know. <laughs> I, I can use the microwave. Come now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no fish in the morning. Space in the fridge. Yeah. 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 The box lunch have your name on it, you know, I'll put on my guy. Yeah. 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 There's a vegan lunch. <laughs> re- re- reserve one, reserve one, reserve no. one. Don't no afraid. <laughs> Um, so Nyla did drop an EP, right? He's the real Nyla. We are Nyla. The real, the real, the real, the real, the real Nyla Blackman. The real, mm-hmm. yeah, the song like movie, real. more or less. Um, how do you feel about it? Artwork on point. I'll start there. Easy, I cannot, I cannot, oh, Douglas. Sure. Yeah. Um, um, to be honest, I didn't listen to it, I did, but 
I uh, heard two tracks uh, off. I mean, I want, I want to, I want to, I want to soak it in. I want to soak it in. I, I like, I was real busy, so I, I didn't really want to go and rush the thing now. I right? understand that. You know, I, I want to be able to play that and say, I like that. Come no, I would tell. I already failed. I would tell, but one month tell you, car audio, you know. Yeah, but when I drive, it, I'm working right there. I said, I wish I'm talking to you. Two minutes drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to have to soak in. I want to have to soak in. No, but he's in the same way though. Um, I really enjoy the EP. Mm -hmm. um, Is it in top to bottom? Yeah, and top to bottom kind of fell in. Top to bottom, we're pausing that. Or no? <laughs> nah, I we're pausing that. Alright. Wait, but how much, how much new songs on the EP in comparison to like what you dropped already? The only song that people knew was Toko Loco. Toko Well, Sweet and Loco. Sweet and Loco. Why did I say Toko? Yeah, find a mashing up the Sweet, Sweet and Loco. And if you knew Naila from a long time, mm -hmm. she performed No Barbie a lot, but okay. in an acoustic mm -hmm. format. Okay. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the EP. I really like the first song and the last song, which is No Barbie. You went, um, you went anything? No, no, I didn't go, I didn't go. You got a white envelope? I didn't get one. No, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. I didn't go to the, um, to the actual launch. I was yeah. tired, but I was real tired. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so... Um, anything else, boy? Anybody yes. else? We think about the production. And how it's standing up in the... Contemporary music. Um, I think I think Nyla production has been up there. I don't think she dropped standard at all. Like for any I, of her um, songs. At least at least the ones that I have listened to. And I, outside of the EP, I listened to all Nyla songs. So for me, I was kind of hoping that we would get a lot, the idea and what she was promoting prior to dropping the album was mm -hmm. that this would be an international album mm -hmm. and it would be songs that not like familiar. That could live anyway. Yeah. Um and you know I find I didn't get enough of that. Mm -hmm. Like for example, Sweet and Loco, mm -hmm. that's just a regular groovy yeah. that you would hear Carnival time anyways yeah. now. But it was written. Yeah, no, it's a I good song. Mm -hmm. But I just would have liked to see. Yeah. Um and I was telling her before having gone to the event that I went a few months ago, some of the stuff I heard there mm -hmm. is real different. Yo, it have a particular night of egg that I just waiting for her to tap back into the top down. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that 15, 16 year old Nyla yeah. oh. was doing them YouTube I was saying and that she, if you Nyla. Yeah. 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 If Nyla yeah, was to do an acoustic album like how Lauren Hill did yeah. unplugged. Right. Yeah, she was called yeah. Corn. 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 it was Hot Corn. 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 She had a, she had a, um, I think that's when she was practicing for the first origins, like the one yes. that she had on San Fernando yes. She was sitting, well, she was, yeah, she was sitting down. Actually, she was lying down on a, a um, damn studio. I think it was in, in Long Yeah. Like, anyway, Duh. vocals Bruh. from the diaphragm. I say, e done. From that moment, I told myself, yo, Nyla is the next big thing. Like, legitimately. Because the Based talent on. I saw. And it's her ability to kind of control her vocals and stuff. No, she doesn't have like, whole life. Eh? That crazy dude. And then I went, I went to the actual event um, in San Fernando Hill. When it is, she had the first one. Um, and she has the production quality of the whole show. Her whole dance moves. I mean, everything was on point. She even performed some of her risque songs. When I say risque, in terms of like outside of the yeah. general soca groovy, that kind of vibes. Um, it was well received for the most part. I think she even brought out a guitar, like she bought a big guitar too. Yeah, she, she so, bought um, a guitar. Yeah, yeah. Hats off to the Nyla Blackwoods. Yeah. Sure. Hats off to the Nyla Blackwoods. I feel like we're going to have to wait until next year again before we get our... That like, Rihanna finish. Don't yeah. do that. Don't, hey, yo. <laughs> don't do that. Why? Don't do that now. I don't know about that. What do you mean by that? Like, like, like Well, I know what <laughs> I mean. I mean. At that point. <laughs> I mean, before Nyla bust on a kind of Rihanna level, like the Rihanna is not. The curriculum is a better one. It's that. It's that. I just nah, nah. I talk. I talk in. I talk in. Post Pondy replay, Rihanna. Okay. Yeah. Nyla replay. Yeah. Why do you have a problem with Pondy replay? I find. No, I don't have no. No, no, no. Do you plan? Do you plan? You don't like Pondy replay? No, no. Bust Rihanna. Yeah, this. 
So we should. Because elephant man and all of them was doing the dancing thing too. She get you. Yes, yeah, right. man. But that's all the time. Not by itself. The replay was done. No, the Caribbean would have dead if it was dependent on that fast. Fast. No, no, no. Short pole had come through, kick it off with um. The re- the that that red that was that red that was red. Like was was it giving the light? Nah, it's not giving the light. Like blue. Like. Nah, that's the one I used to play on 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 BET. Um, I think it's getting really light. I feel it's, it's getting really light. There's a whole kind of segment. Let's get busy. Let's get busy. There's a whole busy. segment. Uh, oh. And she has just done Pondy Replay. So by the time day. she come with Pondy Replay, the ears was already tuned to that. That's in my opinion. It's, it's, it's a well calculated record. I, I agree with that. that. I like that song. Uh, <laughs> you like Pondy Replay? Where are you playing Pondy Replay in your life? On a Sunday morning, cooking. Okay, when I listen to Rihanna. I'm not doing that when I play the partner I play the I'm not going to make it You don't think in a deep hole. You can enjoy it. Ellis. All the rest of the time. I'm not going to play the greatest hits, my boy. My boy. That in your top 10, Rihanna? No. So why play it, man? But so we are on our 10 good songs. Yes. He played Rihanna. Hold on. Where they line up, you choose and they bring me in for you. Sometimes, boy, we just forget where we come from. Nah. I, 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 I mean, I agree, but I'm not I'm playing Pondy Replay, though. I'm playing Pondy Replay. For sure, you're not playing Pondy Replay. For sure. Play play. For for sure. sure. Play. I might play a. Shine bright like a diamond. Show go with Dyson. I wouldn't beat up if it come on. I wouldn't beat up if it come on. I'll play Man Dumb. But that's our next. That's our bad man tune. That's yeah. a, if I want, if I want, really if I want, like want Caribbean Rihanna, Rihanna. Rihanna. Nah, nah, you want Caribbean Rihanna? I'll play, I'll play man. Yeah, I don't really like that song. Hmm. I find man dog kind of boring. Well, it, it adds credit to the I fact mean, that you like Pondy Replay. Pondy Replay so. on nah, before I don't even bother. Nah, don't even bother. Don't waste my data. Don't even bother. Don't even bother. Now Pondy Replay. All I all I saying is this is why. Let me let him Nyla get a chance to. The Kusumi. Yeah, yeah, the Kusumi. That's a lot of Kusumi. Yeah, that's a lot of Kusumi. And next day, so. Uh, oh, fuck, man. But I understand where you come from. I understand that too. I will take that. I will take that. In terms I'll of busthood, yeah. I, I, I was saying forever since Molly well, could attest that she trajectory to be our Rihanna, quote unquote. Not enough pay to Rihanna, right? Mm-hmm. Um, But I would. I haven't heard the album this night for that. Maybe yeah, I, agree. I agree. But there's not. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no offense, yeah, Nyla. Like, huh? I still like the you album. Know, this this, this Just album, if you're being really critical about yeah, this, yeah, 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 yeah. it was good mm. production <laughs> and good. Yeah. I didn't feel like it was song driven. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And, the, and the production was there to accompany the strength of her writing yeah, that we okay. know she has. That's strong and the strength of her vocals real, that we know she has. I find it real unfair too. She had to be real careful. With the producers and thing that she working with because her pen is strong man. Yeah. And to have a strong pen like that and have a producer not be able to, to match that strength. Yeah, to compliment that vibes. Yeah, I don't know. know. When I um when I heard well the songs I didn't make, if she used some of that and use like no Barbie as like that big yeah, single, sure. mm-hmm. then I would be a little more because no Barbie is a global song. Eh? Like I can yeah, see, but wait, but like, like how, a pop how, star singing that. But but it it flowed though, like the they EP are, flowed. Not really. Not really. It's just a collection of songs. Oh, yeah, it feel like an EP. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But okay. if she like use no Barbie and then build a kind of international sound around that, then I might have a different conversation. Be risky yeah. with it. It's not risky. Okay. The album has no it's risk. Safe. Yeah, it's too safe. Speaking of risk, easy Mr. Calendar. Uh, I was like, we go with the We Love's dog. Nine, we had a big up We Love. That was risky yeah. no, 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 I just say it. <laughs> now I know, but now I know. Boys, you could you could try We Love Wednesday on a Tuesday and it go back. I go back then. I go back. People, let's stay till Tuesday. I like. We Love just start Tuesday. Yeah. At, one, at midnight, yeah, literally yeah. just start at midnight. I had my first experience last night, dog. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. It's a long time I didn't see clean, youthful energy yeah. like that. Yeah, that's exactly. And it was a real cosmopolitan mix if you get where I'm coming from. Mm-hmm. 
the birds was real nice. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. There was a plethora of feathers. <laughs> yeah. just, just, yeah. It wasn't one type of feather. Yeah. Yeah. Feathers, <laughs> peacock, dog. Yeah, I mean, you want. I saw my turkey. Nah, I have I, 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 I one question to ask though. Um, so the, that was that was installment number what? Nine. Number nine. Number nine of season two. Where did you see the um the momentum building and it becoming its own thing? Mm -hmm. Of course, you'd have had plans for it and your expectations first from it. Game, nah, lie. After the first games night, the first mm -hmm. open night, I was like, oh. The one back in Vass. Nah. That this uh, hell. Like, I find back in Vass, I know there was going to No, but oh God. But you also don't see it. Knowing and seeing is two different things. Mm -hmm. Like, I know the work that we put in and the vision that we set would have be, You know, it's about that scene, you know, it's right. about, But it's how to do real steps before you see that. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, boy, you start to see grass here, boy. Yeah. Grass here, yeah, man. <laughs> we start to see grass. <laughs> and the tree. <laughs> we start to see grass. <laughs> Say well, what they didn't come from Monopoly and force this time when they come out. <laughs> that was real nice. That was one on Kitty Cat, no? Yeah. 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 That one was different. That, that one, was that's flames. when that's when Kutin come out for the yeah. first time. First time. Yeah. That yeah. was flames, flames. That was yeah. Yeah. I heard you all talk about that on the on the Yeah, that was the one we spoke about. That one was when Kutin was ready. Yeah. I never noticed last night. When he come out, everybody. Yeah, come inside. Yeah. The Everybody came inside. Like, you were last night? Yeah, you were still playing. Good thing. I feel the bus just before he come. He come on like different. half eleven or something. So. I yeah, remember the first time I hear the bus before. Because I can know you would go yeah. events and they would always say they have like you know, an open mic and have artists pulling up and tick, 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 bam, bam, bam. I hear that man sing and is. Yeah. No, what is this? <laughs> I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not comparing, eh? I'm not comparing, but the first time I feel the way I feel here in him, mm -hmm. was when I hear I Sasha. For hey, so oh. you take the words out of my mouth. I I, I always say, say, yo, I mean, hey, Kutin, you're real hard. <laughs> He's the hardest. Mm -hmm. But that African dancer, mm -hmm. hey, if I Sasha sing, put, put some vocals on that too. Yeah. Go on. Back and Dog. Back shot. Yeah, back and Dog. Back and Good. shot. Cause, cause it, it have his tone. You mm -hmm. was in the Thai Festa show. The yes, yeah, show. yeah. I saw shit. He's one of the best. Yeah, I saw shit. He's one of the best. That we have top five yeah. in Trinidad. That I saw shit. Crazy. Might be five, four, three or two. Easily in the top five now, boy. Yeah, yeah. Horse. I know. I saw, like from Eldo days, right? I remember I saw shit. Used to be singing that song before it now now really mm. skyrocket. Cause that was around the same time with like Ganja Farmer and thing. And they got reggae also. When they when they when they hear I say, I come out and say, no no no, no 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 I never see runs like that, you know. No, 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 like no, no. But I just measure I just measure great artists whether it's local, regional or international mm -hmm. based on a song that you can't really define by a genre. Yeah. That song is not yeah. a reggae, yeah. it's nah. not a soca, it's not a calypso, it's, it's just a, a song. Yeah. It's a ballad. That's a ballad. True. And just a good measure. Wet it down with some steel yeah. pan. Oh I don't give a fuck. But you know, is it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That song, Choose some steel pan. Yeah. 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 If I remember, like in Synergy Days too, I saw she used to pull up when you yeah. used to have a kind of a kind of reggae vibe mm -hmm. yeah. in the studio. In the studio yeah. Yeah. Real proper intimate setting. Put it down. Bond down. Put it down. next follow um we used to sing like Bougie Banton and we recently passed away, rest in peace. Get her done. Get, get, get her done. Yeah, that's my brethren. Get her done. Yo, that yeah. man different, dog. Man, they find yeah. that yeah. yeah. Here I'll, here I'll look at it. it. multi symptom is our next big one. Yo, the local right now, and my, my only, for all the local artists who are listening to this, especially, especially some of the younger ones, yo, invest in your craft, dog. Invest in your craft. Take your thing serious. Go your voice training. Focus. Mm. Believe in yourself. Believe in your team, build your team, and really just push the thing forward because all the men talented, 
and you have real fat to go. Fat. So if it is you know you have that fire inside of you, and especially now where it is you get to need light, because I believe with platforms like We Love, platforms like Bohemia Room, platforms like Big Black Blocks, um, we have True Talk No Lie as well, Easy yeah. Evan. True Talk No Lie, it was last night as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like drop, drop the mic to, and so. Yeah, like they, they, drop they, they, they have the mic and so. Now. So <laughs> I'm talking to the cars, who he goes, I'm talking to the Jimmy Octovers, mm-hmm. the Coutines, the um Zebes, Tizelli, yo, or they could call so, all like, the names. Yeah. I mean, yo, like that boys and them. The boys and them different. Serious, yo, we have real names to call, yeah. and that's not even a like that's a. It's been a while since I could say that, and it's real names. Yeah, that's not just one genre. Yeah, while, eh? like we have the last time that happened. The last time that happened was when we had the um, reggae all stars. Reggae all stars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was the last time we had that kind of energy. So it's a nice, it's a good time. We're in a good um, time. We're in a good time period. It's had a millionaire family too. Yeah. Yeah, we're well, a nice run. Yeah, it sounds easy, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, easy back there. Daddy Reggae was in that. High Red Studios. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah High Red Records. Now the place is different right now, baby. For, for quality. So, so I think that was kind of said. We are sent to the topic for the day. Yeah. 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 You can't force it. Nah, you can't Sometimes force it. you can't force it. And it's important to remain organic too. Yeah. Um. One of my good friends, big up to Como, you saw us here, um, tell your story now as an artist. Mm-hmm. As a person too. Just like tell your story now, boy, and it's important to not lose that when you when you're creating and when you're building your craft and yeah. the authenticity that really come from personal mm-hmm. experience. Now. Nobody mm-hmm. can tell you you know how you feel about this or mm-hmm. this water bottle this shit. Yeah. That yeah, I think I think like that. to kind of build on, on one of the lectures that we had, or lectures that we had um previously. We were talking about like knowing yourself and protecting your peace and thing. But you see, if you're not doing it from a genuine space, yeah, you're going to end up forcing it. You will not be protecting what? your peace. Yeah, what is you're going to end up forcing it. Forcing it is doing things not because you deem it necessary for yourself, but because you deem it necessary to stay current. Mm-hmm. Just for some kind of recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Our story to tell. Tell me the story. Yeah. So I was real fortunate to be in the presence of the greatness that is Bungie Garland recently. Mm-hmm. And he was giving a little story, big up yourself, Garland. I'm telling his story because we need to tell the stories. <laughs> and but what would you say is one of the most notable traits of Bungie Garland? Um, freestyling. His freestyling, freestyling yeah. right? <clears throat> so you give us a little story about the freestyling, right? All of us old enough to know that there was a time when Garland was banned from the radio, right? Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're not going to go into the politics of that. <laughs> but there was a whole period where he was banned from the radio and radio is still... I mean, we have YouTube and yeah. we have platforms now. Yeah. They're not on SoundCloud, yeah. they're not on YouTube, <laughs> they're not on Facebook. So terrestrial radio is basically your window to the world. That was your platform. Mm-hmm. So you ban a man from the radio, you're basically messing with his bread. Yeah. You're messing with his, 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 his everything. Everything. Yeah. Who he is, his character, his persona, everything. And so I tying this back to what is forcing it and what mm. is being genuine, right? And so people had loved Bungie Garland so much that he might have got a call. They didn't, if you come by this venue between half past ten, I might just go in the bush and take a leak and the stage could be open. I wouldn't see you pass, I wouldn't see you take the mic, and I wouldn't see you shut it down. Uh-huh. And I wouldn't see when you leave. So it had these conspiracies where he not supposed to be somewhere and Bungie will show up. Because promoters can't book him because them go get blackballed too. Yeah, they can't but he will come and shell down an event for about 10 minutes, 20 minutes straight off the top because remember he had no song the bush <laughs> and he do this for a while oh. and that is how he end up you know remaining current remaining relevant and sharpening his skill Jeez. so in a real jokey way he say I mean when you only hear me freestyle now I mean, hey going on for about 5 minutes dog I can't pay <laughs> you should have hear me when I when I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, I have a whole thing. set that I can pay for. Why is why is that, why is that three minutes three mm. style? That yeah. nothing to me. But he had to make sure that he get up out the bed mm. and get it out the mud. But so the 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 even the difference between that and force, it? Right. So with that now, he's still 
stick true to what he his talents what he know about himself what people like about him i wouldn't say that's forcing it that that's probably that's the opposite of forcing yeah. it because he aligned himself in the sense of he was being fought now mm-hmm. by forces bigger than yeah him. He, mm-hmm. and it was like a reaction yeah life like so happened to just put them opportunities there and take them away every same time. action has an equal and opposite reaction so when they the powers that be did what they did. That was his reaction to it. But he was still being true to himself. So he wasn't going out there and saying, boy, I had to get his head. To me, for true. forcing Perhaps. it is more so where you stepping out of who you are for out the purpose character. of clout now or yeah. recognition. Or, you understand? You're following some, some trend or some... Uh, you know know to be are. yourself. And <laughs> 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 the, the thing about that is that people, people just do that because sometimes people scared to do us make them happy now boy and you have to be okay and be open to do what making you happy and that's when everything will work out because it's organic now and a few lectures ago we talk about the, the flower blooming organically now, yeah boy. that that's the only way it can happen that's the only way it can happen and you can't just it now. Yeah, sometimes like when, when things come from a genuine space where like you, you can't be too, like you can't dog, it's enough. like a tree you like you know enough. sometimes i don't know if any of you live in country and thing but when i used to live down fights about i from the big walls right so the is <laughs> <down at home. laughs> sometimes bro you go on you go be hoping and praying trying to grow some kind of fruit tree or something and two birds go just shit in a random part in your yard mm-hmm. and you end up with a purple tree yeah yeah, just You don't even know though. Oh, you just sweating on that plum. Three weeks. Plum. Not on that thing. Yeah, so I don't see that happen in my neighborhood. So just let the thing happen. Don't force anything. You will feel it. You will know it natural because you will have to think about it. Mm-hmm. And you have to be okay being yourself. Mm-hmm. That must be okay. If that's not okay for you, you have to look within. You have to have a self yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the, 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 the problem is that people, sometimes people just feel like if they are not enough now. Mm-hmm. So it's like they feel like if they need to go above and beyond and when they when they do try to go above and beyond, you start to remove yourself from yourself. Yeah. So now is when you enter in the realm of force in it because you can only do so much but because you want to project X much mm-hmm. you feel as though that gap there you need to basically mimic that or pretend to be mm-hmm. that. When really and truly this little zone here that is where you need to be. That is where you need to be. And that is where you need to be. And you good to be. The, the thing about it is, no matter how much you force it, and it's funny enough, I tweeted this earlier today. You can't run from yourself. Yeah. You close your eyes, you open your eyes, you look left, you look right, you're always there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you force it, and you still have to deal with yourself. Boy, I remember. You still so have to find your I'll happiness. give you a story on that. I, I remember when my little cousin was preparing for SC. And. Sometimes she lives with my grandmother, right? So I pull up on my grandmother. She on the phone. Go and study her work. She go by the laptop. She pull up YouTube. And then I pull up square. I say, hey, what good one? At the end of the day, when it comes time for you to write that exam, I ain't not going to be there. Granny. Granny not going to be there. Your mother not going to be there. You gonna be the, the person open opening that paper, and you know to yourself that if it is you don't put any work now, you're gonna do real madness, and you're not going to be in the position that you want to be in when the results come. Yeah, exactly. And you can't, you can't, you can't fool yourself. So you have to be real. My mother used to tell me long time, say, hey, don't you lie to yourself, you know? Yeah. You ain't doing me nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because why? In that term, she gonna give up the report. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was talking about this the other day. You remember the girl? You was in my end. You, you, you went to UWE? Yeah. You was in my end? No, I was in the year before you or the year after you. You remember after. the girl from UWE who was fake her grad, bro? He, that was crazy, that stuff. Wait. That's, that's not Vince Young. She didn't fake her grad, she actually graduated, she just didn't go to the graduation okay. and she get photoshop into her thing. Allegedly. 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 I but this is a real thing where somebody 
did not graduate and was so afraid to break that news Whoa. to her yeah. family that she borrowed somebody's graduation gone. Uh, you pull up your you know, gun. I can't, I can't even have that. Proper that rough. And no, that, that, when that I was trying to cross the stage, rough. she fake a faint. And then the ambulance, so she did not cross the stage so they wouldn't figure out. Take pictures that wherever. That is rough. That is rough. Mm. I like so she so could get it to Oscar. People realize, but, but wait now, nah, your name was not the list. What going on? Ting, ting. Didn't graduate. So yeah. why she didn't just do like theater or something, dog? She should have tried that. That was it. That was the space. Being yourself. That was the space. Being yourself. She knew how to be herself. That she would have tried there is the... That is the toxicity that could come out with not hmm. being okay with yourself. The lens like, you will go to. Yeah, yeah. Cause Cause to be somebody else. Yes. Because when the pressure really add up and there's real situations that come on and tend to because you have a whole, you have a whole father side like, you know where well, yeah, boy. Your family is accountant, so you're really seeing son, mm. son. Mm. And then you have your mother side you learn, you know, well, mm. mere. And you can't eat. You just yeah. want to fucking bacon thing, dog. Like you like the issues and things. I have, a, nobody I have, have a question for the faculty. <laughs> All right. You all believe that social media actually make it more difficult for people to discover who their true self is because you have all of these representations. Mm-hmm. I know when I was growing up, my first representation was my household, was my parents. Yeah. You know, so as much as I used to give them real help, then it's who I know. Yeah. What they're teaching me is who I know. Mm-hmm. So even when I go out the road and I get myself in shit, I have what I know yeah, to fall back on. Yeah. But now, with all of these accessibilities, mm. who knows what your, your, what your foundation is, what your core is. So I, mean, I feel, I, feel I, I mean, I, did, I encounter in a lot of young adults yeah. and they don't have a core. So what I would say to that is that, as with every other opportunity that you will be afforded in life, it depends on how it is you choose to deal with it. Yeah. What I would call social media, I will call it a dangerous place. Because you can either... It's like a... How to put it, boy? It's like a river, right? Um, like the violent part of the river. Where it can either propel you forward or it can spin you out of control. So if it is you enter the social media space and you have no identity or you don't know who is me, mm. Then you will find yourself in a position where you will become what you see. Yeah. If you find yourself in a position now where it is you look at social media and you say, I like this. So for instance, put myself on the block. I like Instagram. I like Tumblr. I like Twitter. I like Facebook. I basically will be on every social media platform. And each of them I will consider to be an extension of my personality. So my Tumblr self or my Instagram self or my Twitter self is two different people or three different people or much other different people. But it's, same, it's the same me. It's, mm-hmm. it's still me. Mm-hmm. So if it is you entering into that space and you have a clear identity or you have a clear understanding in terms of what it is you will enter bring and how it is you will enter form this or to mold this, um, it's a great thing. But that is why I definitely would say it's dangerous because if you don't know what to do, then the it, opposite go God. Then hey, yeah. <laughs> you now guys about it looking like you know. It's uh, important yeah. too because. In situations like that. Bad thing, by the way, but to do. Yeah. <laughs> Sports are the shit. You got no force in it. You got no force in it. In this day and age, it's easy to not to absorb, but to be engulfed in a sense now. Like, to have real plenty around, you could jump. Yeah, but I always watch it like a dance or a line or something, dog. Like, you know, when you walk in the dance. If you know it's your scene and you're your team and then you know where all they're going, you yeah. know, you walk straight to the bar, you take me by your kid, you take me, and they're going to set up right here. Yeah, you're going to be lost in the dance, making laps and then you end up on the bar, you have no drinks, you have no drinks, you end up by the scene here, you don't get fed up by you end up by that team there, oh god, yo. Begging for the ice. Come with your things. Ice and I do love. With your things, and that's my stamp for the day, like, come with your things. Like, if you know you're coming out here in the Gideon, Mm. Come with your things. Take your time to grow and learn yourself. Don't be forced to come out your, your little pot to go in the ground. Stay in your fucking pot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? What's pot? One thing that I would say, um, I kind of have a different view on the social media. I think that um, social media is the for the first time in society generally, people 
have a, a platform and an arena to be who people tell them they shouldn't or yeah. couldn't and they know that's who they was at the corner um and when social media just came out it was it was kind of taboo it was like the your parents and your, the adults because they're not familiar with it and even some of our peers they would push it to you as this is social media and then you have the real world yeah. but i'm of the view that social media is part of life right. it is just as important as regular interaction mm -hmm. and um social networking is just as important as face-to-face -face networking and you should take life seriously and if it's an important part of life then you should take that seriously as well and if you know it's have certain aspects of yourself that you wasn't that person growing up you didn't you wasn't the person that people care to listen to yeah. or check for or be interested in you now have an avenue to reach seven billion people Mm -hmm. and find a community mm -hmm. instantly mm -hmm. that is like unheard of if you told somebody that in the 1990s they will look at you crazy now. Yeah. so that is that right there is why it's in social media is like such a blessing now. and like everybody have the ability and the opportunity to be heard and to be themselves and to feel happy and even if it requires you have to pick up your phone it's going to have one day where you have to pick up your phone for everything so then mm -hmm. at that point in time where you going and tell them they wow. win. Yeah. yeah. Don't understand? feel like Olegan and join the Twitter and you know seven billion followers. <laughs> and don't feel like so it's But the, the thing about it is not even about that because the mm. in the real in, in let me stop saying in the real world in person that is the school of thought where in school you have the ten people in your year group mm. who everybody trying to be like and the popular kids now and that mentality. It's something that I think social media eradicate because even if I don't have 10,000 followers, if I have 500 and I follow 300, at least them people there, we want to follow each other. Yeah, I want to see what you say, you want to see what I say. Yeah, yeah. We're happy in our cool. own sphere, you understand? Yeah, yeah, so everybody. Like seven billion. Exactly. Because yeah. at the end of the day, how much people you can really yeah, interact yeah. with now? Mm -hmm. So I you can create that. your community and feel at home there and, you know. That, that in itself does now allow for face-to-face for -face interaction because you're interacting with people on social media so much you realize oh this man is vibes or this girl is vibes and all they bounce up like AI hey, is such and such from Twitter and boom mm -hmm. admittedly that is how I meet real artists and that is why I hear yeah. Yeah. yeah big sex you yeah, understand yeah. no. yeah. <laughs> seem to be real and, and that's why I like sorry to cut you off yeah. that's why I like Twitter because Twitter, Twitter, so you, could get into, natural, eh? you could get into people's minds. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter is a stream of consciousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, literally. Yeah. Because it's a stream of consciousness. You could fake like the first 50 tweets. Yeah. And then you go back to the to, to, to strap. But then you might start recycling the first 50. You know you'll give up. Yeah. Uh, Twitter is the one place that will stress you out <laughs> if you're not yourself. Yeah, if you're not yourself. Like, so yeah. when you see people have um, consistent interactions, you know they find themselves, yeah. or they find a pocket where they could be themselves now. Exactly. And so I find I, I have way more meaningful interactions on the socials on Twitter. On Twitter, yeah. And when you can see it, like sometimes the 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 I wouldn't say the comparisons, but like the 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 like the, the likeliness mm. or the similarities that we would find on Twitter. When it says you know you you see somebody um retweet something and it's. 50,000 retweets yeah. and it's be like real minuscule like human but human <laughs> situation <laughs> and it's be like wait now who you stay like this too yeah. everybody yeah. Yeah. like this it's like no like, I'm opinion about the before you my child course, always want to be in the same life you don't ever That's see you don't ever see that anywhere else and it's just it's be so it's because the, the thing with Twitter is that it's a pure space yeah it's like yo as soon as you think it you tweet it and, and chances the, are the, the thing about that Kadeem as I to, to tie back into what I was saying before about interperson interactions you cannot get that in person yeah you can't ask fifty thousand people what if they just put in jelly before the peanut butter yeah but you can see one tweet and see mm. so much people interact like that mm. that changed yeah. the game yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Now, really, we live in twitter <laughs> high key more important than facebook oh and Easily. also the, the next thing that's such a blessing with social media nowhere gives you more accurate and faster news real yeah. time news yeah down to the second. If you know how to find it. Like if you know, find but even when you don't know, that it's fine. You know. yeah, Everybody's exactly. on news reports. Like if yeah. something happened in this. You remember when it had, and I, I, I plan to speak about this later on. Just a when it had the floods and thing last year. Mm -hmm. 
people was saving people because of Twitter. Yeah. yeah? yeah. yeah. I am trapped here. Me and my friends in or or Bruno Yeah. 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 Please. Yeah. And people pull up in their four by fours, jump Quick. on. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's amazing. You don't even need to. You don't need the ODPM. And, True. And emergency services who do the whole country. I mean, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Hey, on the PM, I'm going to get on the PM. Like, you know, like, you know. Are you working there? Sorry, nah, I know I'm kidding. I'm gonna say my government is working for me. Nah. <laughs> I like that. No, but um, I don't wanna go down the rabbit hole too much. But what I would say is that for those of us who believe in conspiracy theories and so on. With like higher powers and you know a particular group controlling the masses i honestly believe that social media literally would have taken a lot of power away from that particular group and put it back into, into the people. hands of yeah. the masses yeah. so now we're it in does. a situation where hey i don't want to watch tv6 i don't want to watch fox news I want to see what Vice News posted. Yeah. I want to see what this 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 one guy who I know that's read a lot, who I know is well informed. I want to see what he talking about, and I want to use that as my source yeah. of right. information. And that source, most times, I mean, you have the ones who would be a little bit, you know, tampered with. But for the most part, those fellas that I'm coming from are genuine spaces. Yes. They just want to share information. Yeah. And, and that that information that they're sharing. Is really and truly what we need to be paying attention to. Correct. Okay. Honest content. And it's because of platforms like Twitter and thing that corporate take a higher civil responsibility and them kind of things. Because they just get dragged. Now they get dragged and they're going. And when they jack, and 2,000 retweets in that jack. Like 2,000 no, potential Yeah, because so it, it, it humbled them now. Yeah. Because you know, you know when a man come and say, yo, this thing tastes like trash. <laughs> Yeah, so this, thing, this did not work for me. Yeah. You know, the, the, the Samsung blowing up in my hand. And it's not a sponsor. Uh, well, I'm yeah. Samsung people. <laughs> Lift yourself. <laughs> um, dog. It's like when, when, when those kind of narratives start to take place on, on, on social media, yeah, now, like, now corporate have sure. to respond. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, now, as a brand sure. manager, if somebody come and tell me, yo, I find this in this protocol that I quaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I reach out to that person, blow, which part you live in? <laughs> I'll come and check in. Don't worry yourself, I go handle that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is everything, hold that lamp. Don't worry. Yeah. Everything is everything. Just chill yeah. out. Yeah. 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 One time, under no seat. I did the beautiful thing about that is that we now get to. Stop stretching out our hands to the invisible hand yeah. for help and support and, and advice and yeah. everybody know checking out each other. You know what's so pious? You remember I remember watching um like certain tweets on Twitter again. I think everybody was kinda raving about the Popeyes thing. And then there was this one guy I, I didn't open the tweet enough to see what he was talking about, but he was selling like some kind of clothing, something, something, something. And the, the, the caption for the tweet was basically, um, Hey, I see you guys support Popeyes. I wonder if I could get a bit of support too. A hundred thousand yes. liters. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. on that. Dan, inventory, sell out. Yeah, I'm not kind of... Yeah. I understand yeah. that. No yeah. 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 The, the best... I have ever seen in a personal capacity social media was when I lost my dog. Oh gosh, bro. that was an ex nation. That was an ex that was a national <laughs> event, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I have met people and like fostered relationships because they recognized me as the person who lost his dog and got it back on yeah. Twitter. It was crazy. People like Every time I say like, yo, I get this information, people from that area was like, yeah, I really see the dog here. Yeah. It, it was like CSI and within five days I get back my dog. It was like, I got up with the party man talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you, for me, I, I, I feel like it's time that this kind of sensitivity make it way into government and mm. policies. Mm-hmm. People who understand that the virtual space is a real terrain True. where you could shape and opinion so they're good mm-hmm. not like Cambridge Analytica where they come uh, down and run yeah, yeah, they shape opinion that's how 
you know. I know we probably didn't have this in his sleep, but as I can segue into the ageism talk, eh? True. Because that is the mm. reason why yeah, that true. not, that's not happening. Yeah. 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 You know, I don't know what it is about that generation. Um, you know, I can even speak not to really tarnish their name, but my parents have that school at all and I say to me where, where, where like they feel like wherever your point of view is can never be better than mine mm-hmm. or never I be valid, longer more valid yet. if mm-hmm. I have an opinion on it mm-hmm. and it and, and they always try to tie it into this emotional sympathy where how could it be I sacrificed so much for you to mm-hmm. have this knowledge I did what I did so that you can live this life so therefore you can never contribute more than me even but as a contradiction uh, to me, that is the irony yeah, yeah. because you, you make sacrifice that for me to be know. better yeah. so but they don't see it that way me to they be they a point two version of you, you. so <laughs> they don't see that 2.0 in that's not a 2.2 don't come yeah, and tell so them 1.2 you wanna downgrade me you wanna jailbreak me the thing about that is that all that really doing is Stopping flowers from leaving mm-hmm. this, this oil at mm-hmm. the You know, people have yeah, contributions to make. Yeah. And I read somewhere once that the most important resource in the on planet Earth is the human resource. Mm-hmm. Yes. Without humans, it can not die. People. I mean, well, it can die with humans as well as we see. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> that's another subject. But yeah, and in that regard, we need to understand succession. You need to, if you look at some of the greatest civilizations, mm-hmm. That went before us. Mm-hmm. It never to used to have pass on. 80 year old leaders yeah. and thing, you know. The leaders used to be the warriors, the young men mm-hmm. and women in the group. If you go back to African history, where it used to be a, a man, woman, duo leadership, mm-hmm. young, vibrant people, and the goal of being a pharaoh, which was a duo, was to spread the knowledge that you have. To as many people as possible, not even people who live in your tribe or your yeah. kingdom, however, yeah. to leave the male you say leave and go and the female you say mm-hmm. lead and teach so that we can pass this on. It's not about oh, when the, you I mean, can't die with your, with your, with your, when you die, everything that you have here stays here, even your knowledge and lack thereof. So that if you're not passing down and giving people the opportunities, you really kind of waste your time here. It's funny you should say that, right? You and Carrie Fester, which I had to give. Hey, he's props. a Carrie Fester. Yeah, he's a Carrie Fester. Oh, we didn't. Yo. Yeah? I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's a Carrie Fester. That was a real good comment. Carrie Fester taught me a lot. <laughs> but one of the things that, that it kind of put in perspective for me is that um, succession is a lifelong process. Mm-hmm. Like, you can't wait until you're 80 years old and say, let me find the truth. <laughs> you don't have the energy yeah. to mentor the truth one True. at a time. So throughout your entire career, you had to be looking for yeah. who, 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 who is the, the, the best candidate or candidates I could groom. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no reason why we had to always start over from scratch. scratch I mean, but, but the thing is, if I have to put that in, again, we had to put this yo, in. Yo. <laughs> yo, wait, let me put this thing in context. Um, everybody in this room. Don't give me no point to replay this. No, no, no. Give me something that you can. Nah, that time pass. That time pass. Yeah. Um, everybody in this room is Caribbean people. Mm-hmm. Everybody in this room is also of African descent. Mm-hmm. I said, we fall short. The funny thing is, is that this problem that we have in. African it's problem. very, 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 very core to us, yeah. our group. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it was always a big people talking, go inside. Mm-hmm. It was always a, ah, eh, go and do your schoolwork. We outside here doing all we had to do. Mm-hmm. So the, 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 what's a put it, boy? The, 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 the approach of having succession or the approach of, of saying that, okay, cool, I am building something for you, for you to take over. That was never within the African psyche. Oh boy. Funny enough, if I was to give you like the opposite side of the coin, right? So I would have worked for a Syrian company in, in the country. And I remember walking in, this is a well-known, wealthy, well, like generational wealth. Granddaughter, great grand, great great They're grand. Good. Good. I am walking into the boardroom like for my interview initially. <laughs> and you see in there's a plaque on the wall. Mm-hmm. 
family crest. Mm -hmm. Values. Mm -hmm. So the father literally come and he telling his children, he telling his four boys, by now you should probably know what I'm talking about. He say, yo, this is what we live in, by. This is what it means to be us, to be this name. So moving forward, this is what I expect of you guys. I'm not saying I have to do X because he always gave them the opportunity to find themselves and to do things that they wanted to do. But that understanding or that approach of having succession or that approach of being able to empower the next generation, yeah. that has never been us. And, and we know it's even, it's even worse because outside of having that generational curse that we kind of fested on and allowed to, to continue, um, in, in, in our generation here, meaning the millennials who would be like within your 20, 35, around there, like we are in a position where we have social media, where we have a new understanding of the world, a new approach to the world, a new world to live in. So it's a totally different experience that we would have in comparison to our parents. Our parents might have been a little bit more passive in dealing with that. Or negligent. And even, even, now, <laughs> even now expecting that we should kind of follow and understand where, like how it is they dealt with it. But now for us, our eyes open and we ain't going through that. I would always say like my favorite thing to see. And I grew up seeing it too, but from the most minuscule standpoint, it was like going by the doubles man and thing back then and seeing an uh, eight year old come to my money and give me my mm -hmm. change and, mm -hmm. and, thing. and then I go by the mini mart, by the Chinese and then man, it's a little girl there again, my soap and thing in the back where you Yeah. Go. Where is this boy? And my thought used to be, so they don't have school or what? True. That's school. But I'm not telling myself, but that's yeah. school. That's like, school. No, that's like, well, that's education. Yeah. Even invaluable life education. Yeah. So always, it transcends no boy to the older ages. Now that I get yeah, the opportunity to see them kind of mm -hmm. and things, to see what now boy this this pervading. But then to be able, again, if we put in the same context, eh, we can't blame our parents it's and not, our grandparents. It's not because blame I'll, thing. I'll tell you why. Again, this is an African thing. Is because they were always in a position where they had to sacrifice to make a better living for the next generation. That's right. But right? the ultimate so they, sacrifice. No, I, I understand that. So I mean, so so when it is they became in a position or or they created yeah, a lifestyle. To now, have. right? It's like here we're going. How to I, this I do this, yeah. so you don't have to do this. So therefore, my business makes that's money. You go inside and enjoy the spoil. That's not it. It's not about it's not that's about here what's going on. I bring it to this point, yeah, therefore must, you need to bring it to that uh, point. Sorry, it was yeah. never well, that I'm, kind of conversation. Well, I'ma cut it. I don't mean if I saw you. Yeah. Well I'ma cut it. <laughs> you decide. I think it was more of a mindset like I do all of this, I work in the Gideon. Now let me get a little room to enjoy this. Yeah. You understand? Allow me for a time and go to school and do something. Let me get a moment to enjoy this. Because I've spent my life working hard, now, which mm -hmm. is fine, mm -hmm. which is cool. But that's why I claim it as negligence further than I just, you know, miseducation and thing. Because over time, you would think to yourself, well, they're working in these same offices that we now see, and like they see that. You understand? So I doesn't really like to do the blame thing now, boy. It's not really blame issues, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a product of. Ignorance, not more it than is, it is, is that we seeing what they not because they not they not they are designed to see that they are designed to see that from our perspective. So it's a situation of where we now trying to educate our parents about yeah. a problem that they not facing. They don't face that ages and problem. They contribute. And when I say our parents, you know, I, I had this this conversation with my family recently. Where we talk about, you know, these things wrong with the country and this not happening from the government and whatever. And our parents just act like if they're not part of that, but those people are your age. They, you know, that's your peers. You went to school. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Them you, you, like, I went I, to school. I, 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 in my opinion, y'all are just as much to blame. Yeah. Because, you know, it is it that is your crop, that is all your mindset yeah. and whatever. If if somebody from our age group, not even our friends from our age group, do something foul, 
The first thing we just try to do is pull them up yeah. on that because that ain't representative of that. Yeah. Yeah. We, don't, we don't gain so much of yeah. 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 that. Yeah. We don't have all these SLS. We don't have all these nonsense that went on with that fella and the girls. Yeah. yeah. Sour fella. Yeah. Bogus. Yeah. Everybody done pulling up that because yeah. yeah. we not standing for that kind of thing. Now. And that is a testament of the difference because they will they will they turn a blind eye. Mm. Them pulling, they will know. You know X Y Z A B C in government and here, there, and everywhere, cause all in with each other. But shipping is happening, and we not getting a chance. So all you have to be part of that too, now you know. And that whole right. ageism thing, you 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 know, putting a, a a boundary on fresh perspective now. Mm. As look at somebody like Nisha dog with that whole energy, yeah. Yeah. energy TT thing. Shout out Nisha. I mean, she gain her opportunities and think no, but that door was knocking for years, yeah. 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 for Final. years. And it's not like you have five names you could call. True, it's one. One person. You who have this, doing that? You have this one person who is so enthusiastic about this topic. She's internationally she known, losing respect. <laughs> life. Yeah. No. She's losing money by, you know, doing her vlogs and doing mm. up these graphics and just on that passion because she's trying to show people a different way. And nobody reaching out. Yeah. But when you're looking at all of them corporations and organizations, it's corruption, it's who taking this, it's who taking that, who not doing nothing and salary, it's it $10,000 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Where is that? Mm. Bogus. <laughs> that, <laughs> but that's that, why I always say to millennials for world peace. That's a fact. Millennials going to be the next president. Yeah, if yeah. we have the world peace. And that is sweet time. That is, 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 on, is on our back now. <sighs> it's on our man. back now. Yeah. It's on our back. We really had to be the, the ones to, to understand the situation and, 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 and try to find ways to correct it. Because if we also fall into the trap of throwing a blind eye yeah. or being um, or not taking the level of responsibility that we need to take, especially with all the information that we have now, what example are we showing for the, for the, next, the next ones to yeah. come up? You know? And the next ones to come up. No, they're fiery. Hey, they're fiery. My little yeah, sister is 15. Fiery. My little sister is 15. And she following the We Love Network. Mm-hmm. And she's telling her friends about it. My little sister writing tune and thing. They're not waiting on we for nothing. Yeah. They hit sister. so hard, bro. It's, it's so like hard. frustrating, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy. I have one more story to tell. You know, I, I by extension, free down the pushing the real positive vibes. Mm. That man grew up around the roughness too, so it's mm. not like I went back out there, yeah, I, I seasoned right. <laughs> but I just, just want, I just just like to urge my brothers to find the better ways. So I pull, I pull my boy, um, I pull my boy Rian, pick up Rian one pick time. Pick up Rian, Rian. Yeah. So Rian, I know you before you bust with Pam Pam and I know all your positive tune that men was fighting down for years. I know I do way you give up. Yeah, like, I still wear mm-hmm. gimme give, give me the roughness too. But I, I only have one request, don't recreate no crime scene for me. Yeah, tell, well, me yeah. tell me how the road rough, but don't recreate no yeah, robbery well, yeah. and thing for yeah. me. And I, I really wear to just give me more positive thing too. Mm-hmm. And Rian tell me, yeah, you're talking truth, you know, you're talking gospel too. But, and I could reason with you about it. Let me tell you where the streets coming from too. All are we just talk. Me, Swanee, this one, that. All are we just talk. We have more unity yeah. than any of yeah, the industry yeah. people who are still it. coming up. Yeah. And I had to take a step back and say, oh shit. I see truth, you know. And that's yeah. why I tell people, I say, yo. We don't need to be forced to listen to conscious music and Dalai Lama and thing all the time because we're on our way of consciousness right now. Yeah. And right now, that in the iOS, as it comes now, when you open your phone, conscious. You understand? That's the first update. Like my little sister, that generation, them not on literary and them shaming people, you know? Yeah. And, 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 and that's that the point I wanted to bring, that the music, like it's so visceral, it's making people feel like these is bad youths. But these youths are so much yeah. principles, though. <laughs> <laughs> they almost put in yeah. weed to shame. Yeah. Serious thing, Like, they are real brotherhoods, real friendships, so they just go and check their partners and sure. look out for them. You ain't holding this week, look at bread. Look yeah. at bread. I you go in the party, come in. So there, I remember, I remember when I was going to form six, babe. 
And I had a bedroom called Chinese, a fellow called Kisho in the video. People be on the I teach you. They go, right? But the first day I pull up in form six, like Chinese looking like the most raw. He used to look like short but So a hat down on his face. Young man, Real man. But a couple of weeks in class, we did reasoning and thing. We end up building a nice little bond. And he's a man come from that roughneck, no bother life, that proper, proper bad man thing. And the friendship that we developed in that short period of time was the most, one of the most genuine things I ever experienced to date. Mm. I remember a day, I tell Chinese, I was like, no, I know not tea today. Say, I mean, I don't want no poor. I'm going to I have a tea tea today. What we go do? What are you for? He said, nah, don't worry yourself. I go on the lot. Boom. Half an hour pass. My boy is to bring a flavor right box. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Two fork. One bowl, eh? yes. Two fork. Both are we chowing down from that. that. I would never, ever. I'm Chinese. I don't know if you would see this. But I would never, like, my pause reason us. I would never forget that. I would I could never thank that man enough for that. Just that 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 extension of that brotherly love. And you, you see when you really go into the garrison, dog, you see when you, you see when you go into them ghetto areas or something, you see that, that vibe, you see story. that love. Yeah, that was dog, yeah, you, wait, wait, so there, again, so there, to I the stories. Dan, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I experience the high life with the higher Tandy, oh. the Sandy, that Sandy, you know, the living in the boys. I, I know about that too, but dog, the energy that you have in some of those areas, your love and tells you very much. Oh, dog, oh. it oh. is, it is the greatest thing to live in an experience. Let me tell you that story. Garrett, nah, I ain't gonna tell that story. Keep the story <laughs> short, <laughs> man. I, 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 I recently moved to that area. This is when I recently moved to my area, right? And. The area a little rough now, boy. Mm. A little stuff going on around and thing, but the people welcome him. Eh? You understand? And after a while, I get invited to a christening now. Literally across the street by the man um, running the area, basically, mm. my boy. Bro, these people knows me from nowhere. <laughs> and it wasn't even a, a solid 15 minutes before it's a, what you want to eat? You no. drinking? It's love. Thing. You need another thing? Before, like, if yeah. my mother, <laughs> come on, where are your friends? Tell them, come on, yeah. Tell. I see, but dog, uh, who is this boy? Nice to think, right? You know me from nowhere? Dog, my friend came to school once, once upon a time, right? Whose father is a known individual as well. And his house had recently burned down. His grandmother's house, he was living in, in Sawa, and he came to school. There's a fellow who usually hides things. He don't ask for nothing. He's playing JS for school, need color thing. Mm. And now one day he come to school and his jersey was in neat and crips and I said, nah, some real man. Some real man. I said, oh, what's going on, man? I said, oh, my house now burned down there. And I said, so what do you mean your house now burned down there, boy? He said, yeah, boy, me and really haven't. And I think so, yeah, I just, me feel like you're in a class, me. Yeah. I cool right here in the canteen. I said, you can't do that. You can't. Yeah. I can't do that. He said, nah, I could write in the canteen for the day for you, man, what you think? I went to a lunch, man. I said, yeah, thing, and I just went to class, cool, because I can't tell a man go to class yeah, you after can't I was not born, no, but <laughs> that's just, like, he's a fella who wouldn't pass you on the road. None of the people I know in them places will pass you on the street, though. The that most love, love, the most love, love I ever can. And that, that is the, just to tie that back in for the ages and things, that's the mentality of the youth that getting stifled. Getting stifled, you know, and I just hope that you know it might Change be this podcast, but somehow the people up there make uh, being made aware of this, and somebody open up, reach yeah. out, rope in. That's the only way. That's now, my way. thing is, hey, I oh, reach yeah. any point now, dog. I remember there was a period in my life where I was looking for a mentor, somebody to kind of take me under the wing and really show me. Well, that's us. Out. That's I us. I tell myself, I write an article yeah. about it, I'll probably post it sometime. Um, I tell myself, yo, the mentors is my peers. Easy, easy, Jala. Yeah, my peers. Yeah, I don't know Jala. 
I have so many people that are very, very influential. Nisha, we mentioned, we mentioned Nisha, you, Rigel, you, Hugh. I mean, all of us using our voice. And as a network that we're building right now, it's coming on it's nice. strong. Josiah and Christopher. Yeah, yeah. It's bad coming on it's strong. It's coming on it's strong. It's coming on it's strong. They had. So, they had. That's not that time. That's not that time. We are like to get into a few more topics, but we're pressing the people for the time. So, let like, me yeah. just. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. We have a little. We're going a little live here <laughs> on the IG. First times. As is lecture 10. We have a, a special guest. guest. So, you understand? <laughs> One of the icons in the music industry right now, yeah, fellas, I'm hard. Yeah, I mean, I got to get on tight. I got to get on tight. Fellas, it's recording next to yeah. So, <laughs> know, the age-old topic. Girls <sighs> like to fling it all over oh. the place. Bring it. They say man is shit. Mm. <laughs> Hashtag. Right. Mm. Generally speaking. Don't be too Oh, my God. <laughs> Fellas, don't say it often, but I was so often. No, 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 I was so often, we just, you know, in the community now, like, oh, fellas, these yeah, guys are real heights, real shit too. So, I don't know, like, I am of the opinion that saying either man or girl is shit mm-hmm. is going a little too far, now, okay. I think we are flawed human beings. And sometimes, the reason why we can't say that, sometimes people are genders, do our line. What you want from me is now I want from you. Mm-hmm. And the interaction might It'd affect one on of that, us yeah. more based on that. And coming out of that is where, in my experience, females I've interacted with would use that phrase now. Mm-hmm. And I find that a little unfair because why must a fella intentions align with yours just so? You know, yeah, from nowhere. Uh, you, you get him on a script before you return it's not a movie you understand <laughs> so I don't know who, I don't who, know I don't who taking this Q&A please well we, boy <laughs> we can't even Q&A what, what, what's, what's your general thoughts on that whole man and shit girl and shit anyway if, <laughs> <laughs> same <laughs> yeah don't massage my brain a little bit yeah. cause I have so many thoughts boy one that's some men is real shit out here though. True, so and I'm glad we started that. that. I'm glad we started that. I'm glad we started that. I just really tried to defend okay. that. Yeah. I'm glad we started that. When, as facts start to come to light, like, mm. sometimes I doesn't even know any, any, yeah, yeah. Anybody who know me, I come from the legal profession. Right? Same, so, same. So I'm so not going to see it's not new to me. Right. right? I know how to cut to the chase, I know how to find the facts, I know how to represent the people. But there are sometimes, Jets man, the yeah. things indefensible. Facts? Right? Facts. And so that's one, that's one part of it. The second part of it is, in all the relationships I've ever had, I had to tell my counterparts, don't feel you don't do nothing wrong because I do complain as often as you, you know. Dogs! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> and I can't even start now because it will be a tit for tit thing. And then it will be like, and but you wasn't complaining before. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you, that's why you, you're bad mind. You're keeping it in your mind. What is your tree, bro? Watch, watch me. I know, I, I know what you have done. I know things. <laughs> but we allow that. But, 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 but even the reason for allowing it is, what that going on do? Yeah. True. Me bringing that up, what that going on solve? I True. man love peace. True. And solutions. I just, and solutions. True. I just, man just real hold my tongue. And I said me. But I just also hold court on the block. <laughs> and the men on the block, they don't even know how to activate their feelings peacefully. Yeah. Or civilly. So men just had to swallow real things. Yeah. Before because, even... Because so aggression, is aggression is the tool of survival of the world. I had to break it down for, 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 for a woman friend of mine, right? She like Batman. I don't, ju- I don't judge she. But she just gets her skin a little bun up and thing. And she just stay. Because that is not the only ba- that is not the only thing about the man. Most of the men is good men, but you know, that, that is she choice, right? Yeah. She like and some, I don't even say she like it, but that's her <laughs> choice, right? And so at the time, we was having a real honest conversation. And I told you, girl, I can't really have this kind of conversation with, with, with plenty of people, but I go in and tell you a truth. Not the truth, it's a truth. And one of the truths is, 
these men need aggression to survive in the world that has had and live every the habitat. fucking day. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's either eat or be eaten. And when he go out there, um, it's the same aggression that make you feel safe when he, when he holding your hand or walking yeah. through certain areas. What he can't do is protect himself from you. <laughs> so when you hurt him, that aggression that he does use to protect wow. you from the world, he don't know how to turn that wrong. He don't know how to reprogram that. Yeah. So the man and shit thing, it valid to a certain point. It valid for but people that shit for sure. There are two points that, 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 that are trying to get women who genuinely believe man and shit. Not just the hashtag thing, but they really believe man and shit. Yeah. I'm trying to get them to understand two things. One, the man you're with. You not always shine up when you need to get shine up. Mm-hmm. And trust me, for little Facts, you tend to get bro. shine up. Yeah. Men, men ha- ha- have a habit. We just habitually walk out, you know. Yeah. yeah. We just habitually go and drink a cool one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. habitually yeah. roll up something. And by the time we make two turns, life done good already. You know, just my call you. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. 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 You eat some papayas and you settle up <laughs> to go again, but not so easily for them. Nah. Them go and go, and go lift. Mm. And, and it makes A lot of them. men, right? They're not in safe spaces where they just get acquainted with their emotions. And so they really don't know how to problem solve when Facts. you hurt them. They know how to fight for you, mm-hmm. but they don't know how to protect themselves from that. Yeah, I get it right. I get it right. I mean, yeah, I was sure. Yeah, I see. You see that problem solving thing? That is one of my biggest flaws when it comes to talking with females. Like, because, like, for me, I understand not dwelling on negativity and issues now. Mm-hmm. And women understand, in my experience, we, we, we need to live with this a little bit. Something happened bad, I upset mm-hmm. or you upset. We need to talk it out. We need to deal with this. We need to. It had we, some time needs to be spent on it. We had to work it out. You understand? But Isaac kind of hurdle. Mm. It's a lot of road now. You know? And that's, that has brought me success in my life in other areas. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. cut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. Like, you know, uh, you're in court and you, you say X, Y, Z incorrect and you mess up. Mm. You had to spin. You, you can't dwell there. Yeah, was... You understand? Mm. You just say, you worship up guiding and you move on. So that do work that will, in my experience do work for women at, at all. all. That's something that like that's my biggest flow mm. that and that could lead to this man disregarding me, mm-hmm. dismissing me, not taking, not do go do care for my emotions, etc. And especially when like girls get together. <laughs> That's been this foster that narrative. Really right? foster, huh? <laughs> so it's, foster, like, it's very content. rare that a, that a, in, a, that a girl will have a friend yeah, and a friend to go that would give her the other perspective now. Mm-hmm. That's important. Yeah. There's need that. So, and that does lend itself to that narrative that man is shit. Mm-hmm. And I think that's like, like even, even having a different perspective when you have, a, like as a girl, if you have guy friends, I thought it's lateral to us, you know. Yeah, we are talk, uh, talking about like your platonic. Yeah. Like or like boy girl yeah, yeah. scenario, yeah. right? Relax. I know. Right? Is is we is we a situation? This call is so lame. So lame. So lame. What's your good man? Jedi mind tricks, eh? Why are we doing this? It's very different. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? This call is master you, man. That's what I'm talking about. So you're extra classes. So you're a DC. Let me just see. What I was saying is, the reason why girls will natural to to their platonic friendships with guys is because we offer them a perspective that they don't get from their female friends. We give them a chance to understand the the, the other and, side. And it's humble, them, you know. Yeah. But, no, I mean, I, I, you want to want to listen. I don't know no one to go crazy. It's be like, yeah, wait, alright, yeah. cool. Maybe I understand a bit. I will add to, to that whole girl and shit and man and shit because it don't necessarily be that it don't even, it it do even be necessary that here's the thing to her and I can understand the female outlook because mm-hmm. when you go through enough 
Shit, niggas. You just have a a wall now that it's like says, PTSD. yeah, dog. It's trauma now. It's literally trauma now. Mm-hmm. But that same trauma kind of preventing that lot from even getting you to even not even get you to to jaws and things. Just get you to Foster stay healthy. In yeah. So what is your scene? You can't even wanna, talk. You, we we wanna we wanna talk about that way. Way we We just gonna let our be the scene here. Because then I just go and fester in them and create a bigger scene. I have a hot take. Mm-hmm. And my hot take is about five years ago, I made a mistake. I kinda I kinda I kinda disregarded, I tri- I treated with a friendship in a way that I shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. And boy, them things you just you just pay penance to the rest of your life for yeah. them things. Mm-hmm. And from that moment, I vow that I would be my most brutally honest self. Not only in my relationships, but just in general. Yeah. And I don't think that we are a culture that supports that kind of yeah, honesty, honesty enough. Mm-hmm. If a man want to hit the drawers, he want to hit the drawers. Yeah, yeah. Just say you want to hit the drawers. <laughs> she had the option to walk away and say, no, 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 I could think, I could think. I want to. That is what really doesn't yeah. really no. Because me. I think, I think, I think the, the, the discovering that intentions wasn't true from the start, uh, do work in our nah, in our But the, in the I have, I have yeah. spoken to <laughs> many girls who would say that. They want the lies? Not the lies, let me do. They want That's the strictness, they, 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 they want the honesty. They want the little journey, they want the. Yeah. We go in, we eat some ice cream, you're calling me every day, we. They, 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 because, because, no, I, and I'm not saying that I do this, I just say that in my I'm saying, I'm saying both, both could coexist. Right, but you see, with the honesty, it can, eh, but that isn't a logical, perfect way. I know where we are. <laughs> And I think it should, but in reality, if it is a fella come with that narrative too early, he going they going and say he's a shit man. That's yeah. a reason why he's called my shit to yeah. you. So us. in one instance, I, I I said something once where girls is when you want honesty, only when is what they want to hear. Yeah. If your honesty is not why I want to hear, man is shit. He is sure. shit. Yeah. They, they don't fit my narrative. So don't want you lie. They're not flexible. Oh, like that, that, that's where you started. Experience. That's yeah. the point you was yeah, 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 understand. I understand where you're coming from. And then with the, the next thing, with the whole... It's how us on the side that I'm on the shit and guys. Sometimes it's not only you do shit or you're on shit. Sometimes I girl will say he's a shit man because he can't do nothing for, for me. For oh gosh, yeah. nice and nice they are accustomed to... Take they are accustomed to their moms. Mm. Yeah. Moms. yeah. Ten times yeah. every month, show money for well, me. Red, Wherever. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know. I know, as I'm told, I know yeah. girls who, bro. If that not happening for them, yeah. it's a waste of time. And what then, but then a, a boy now he go come from a household of a single mother household, and he learn real plenty core values. He's a good him. man. You know, being compassionate and loyalty. Trust all the other the the intangibles now, but he will never have a shot with somebody like that because Cars and to cops. them that is what a shit man is. Mm. If you can't financially and if any material will provide for me, he is a shit man, and that's plenty. I mean, when you, we live in a much more materialistic world, like on the negative of social media, yeah. and when they, when they can when they can pull up their their um their their shoe. They showed dinners. Yeah. You understand? And they kind of nervous. Started to Yeah, yeah. yeah. they kind of nervous. Yeah. They kind of nervous. <laughs> oh, when, when we does ever call girl shit girl, I never call her I girl never, shit girl. I mean, I, I find, find, that, find, I find that, 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 like, when, that's what I'm saying. And I said, it's the way you said it's the way you said it. Yeah, I find what I'm saying. There's heights, though. It's about the difference. Heights and shit. Heights is heights. But I can't comfortably say girl is shit now. Like, I don't find girl is shit. I don't find girl is shit. I don't find my mommy and turn and be like, Say that. Yeah, like, I can't say that. I can't say that. Even if you think, let me suppose is the some fellas would say it at the school at all that girls who just sleep around and think is shit girl, right? Mm-hmm. Let me just say that. Even in those them kind of people, when when emotions struck and and a man catch them, yeah, they didn't check in for that man. Like, yeah, baby, like he's like Jesus yeah. But even before that, some yeah. some of these same girls that society just want to cry yeah. down. Mm-hmm. Them just have real good platonic male friends who just hold them. Hold them. Hold them. Man Nobody just call them kind of girl shooters. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no loyalty. And it's, it's real ironic. Girls who 
listening go around no loyalty. No loyalty. I mean, but when you when you really meet one and know one, nah, them see the world twice. Nobody over. can hold hmm. down anybody else like a girl. In my opinion, fuck, fuck. fuck. That's, that's, that's that. That's they true. don't have that. But the, 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 the one instance <laughs> where I, I will again pay to do it. Where <laughs> I might say, but if she is shit, not really mean, and she's a shit person. Now use that phrase is when. As this what this what thing I can't handle. You see girls who feel that a fella had to come with ninety nine things to the table, mm. but they're not looking themselves in the mirror and seeing that they come with zero. Them is the girls I can't handle, bro. Like what are you really doing yeah. for that fella who you want so much things for? From sorry, you 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 really contributing to his life, but for the fact that he does look good and which is that bad. Not really, so, because if you go on Instagram for fifteen minutes, it's have fifty girls that look yeah. just like you. But you so. think, you think, you think what I too? I mean, I would. <sighs> I mean, I don't really subscribe to that whole gala shit, man, shit thing. I, when I see it, I just block so it. I, 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 I don't even bother to pay attention. But um, the problem with, I mean, at least from my perspective, the problem with, with a lot of these interactions between fellas and girls these days is that you don't know what you want. One, you mm-hmm. don't know what you want. And then two, have a, a, a concept called, you know, the, lo- the love languages. If you don't know how you want to be loved, okay. or you don't know what it is you value, mm-hmm. I someone I value quality time. You come, you rock back with me, I cool. No, man. I good. I don't, I don't need no you gifts. Don't need gifts. I don't That's need it. no extra. I, eh. Oh. Right, rock back. Like, I like, cook a little food. I do good. You go I real cool. You don't need do public information. I cool with a five star restaurant, restaurant that more appealing. Than exactly. So, I mean, if it, like is, if it is as a girl or even as a fella, you not aware of what it is you yeah. actually want. From this particular person, or just from from a woman or from a man in general, when you go now and you encounter people who mightn't really be feeding you, but you like them, and you realize this not feeding man, then you gonna be like, he's a shit man. <laughs> Yeah, he's a shit man, and that is that is well, nonsense. They, they, and they just don't understand. Exactly, and then and then the onus is on you now, especially for the girls who would be repeatedly in fi- finding themselves in situations where they encounter guys like that. It's your fault, bro. I, I mean, by the third one, by the fourth one, it's your fault. Like you need to know, kind of dress back and be like, I'm not lying. Something wrong here. You know what I mean? Something wrong here. Men like what they like too. Yeah. Like what they like. Yeah. What they like. What men like. No, but I'm talking about for that specific kind of fella. Okay, okay. If he go in around the same kind of girls, he like, mm-hmm. it's like, he talk about his friend who like, who like bad man. Yeah. And this guy's just getting bored up. Hey. That what she like. Try to talk to she. Yeah, 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 son. So. No, I'm not saying no to that. I mean, you can like what you like. But if it is, if it is when you like what you like, and then you realize yes, that it's a mad scene. Mm-hmm. And you continuously decide to, you know, experience. You facilitate yeah, that. Yeah, to, to, to replay, to ponder, replay the mad scene. Then, I mean, oh, that's yeah. your fault, bro. <laughs> That's your fault. And, and, and next, it's have a whole side of this whole narrative that I think not enough light is shed on. I uh, people doesn't realize sometimes how much pressure fellas has be under yeah. when you. it comes to these things from the jump. Thank you. Gotta provide. Thank you. Yeah, there, there are some presuppositions yeah. on the box. You ain't even know me yet. <laughs> nah. You ain't even know me yet. You don't have to know like, me. One of, one of the things that come with the territory of being a man in this digital age, if you're not willing to post your girl on the socials, yeah, it's shit. Regardless of what your genuine opinions on doing hey, that is, you and the whole world is still you're shit. legit. You used to post your girl. Nah. I post my wedding day. Yeah. I posted you. Uh, I posted you. I <laughs> <laughs> see. My, 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 you see when I'm eating, eating govern? We don't pass you. We don't pass you OJT face. Honeymoon OJT. Yeah, no more. Yeah, you don't know OJT anymore. You don't meet everybody. Right, she might get a mother. Post all that story. My overall feeling on it is. Unveiling. Yeah. <laughs> we explored human beings to begin with as, mm. as you started with. And. The way out of that is you have to find your life purpose. Right. Mm. Your life purpose is, as I, I was talking to a group, um, some brethren two nights ago, and it's like having a puzzle board and everything just scrambled up and you don't know what's supposed to go where. Mm-hmm. And then you press the purpose button and it don't finish the puzzle for you, know, but all that not supposed to be together, like everything just not yeah, so understand it, right? A, group, B group, C group, D, and you know, all right. 
I'm not working on that now. I'm not working on that now. I'm not working on that. I could work with this. And when you realize a lot of people don't know how to prioritize their life because they don't know what their purpose it's is not. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what your purpose is, then you is really trial and error you go in yeah. this one. Mm -hmm. And you will encounter people who are incompatible, i.e. shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so how many times you're willing to go through that burden to learn before you find your purpose? And the then next thing too, find, that is you, that find, you, shit. you find yourself in situations as well in this type of, you know, encounters where you expect in this individual to bring a, a level of peace and a level of comfort Never. for you. You had to find out for yourself. That's, that's uh, dependency and that's you toxic. Going on there. You can't, that I, 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 I can't be, I can't be your happiness. No. You had to be happy. We had to share and I happiness. Go, okay, okay, I, go, I will add to your happiness. Share. Bro, but when, share. Bro, regardless of if I am there or not, bro. you got to be able to stand on your own two feet. Yeah. Yeah. And have and a lot of girls out there who, who cannot stand up on their own two and feet. My personal and that's experience, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is the happiness caravan on? No, don't. I have made it it's from that. In one of my past relationships, I made it my business after that too. And you can allude to this earlier. Set that precedent early, dog. Our relationships are series of precedents. Eh? Mm -hmm. When you start doing things too often, just know that you have to do it forever. Yeah, that's right. And if it is you and that person, if that person can only find their happiness from you, or they will, or they will never last. Yeah, no. That person have to have it in themselves and they have to have their, their will to... Who have are you going to make your home. people, your sphere? Get that, find it, and hone it. Because you are now going to... If you do have that, you are now going to see that other person who don't have those views mm. and the things that they're doing as being shit. Yeah. When they are being a regular, flourishing, growing human True. being, they have other things to a do. Bloom and flower. Come and on. the next thing with this too. There's another dimension to it, and I mean we kind of spoke on it before, but as followers, we have a real responsibilities. Like hey, right. yeah. even even in terms of how you looking, when you well, as a man, when you done bathe, you brush your hair. Fun that is it. Man, this is me, right? this is why I bring it to the table. Kill still have the opportunity to go and put on a little makeup. They could do a little this, they could do a little that, they could change up this, they could change up that. You know? Ah, like I mean guys already have that. Nah. Another another and, and, and more and that's that's kinda of go a little bit deeper than that now. Girls also have, especially for girls who would be, you know, the best thing. Sweet and the like, ones who out here, you know, they go this way. Yeah, I talk it to the people. Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. Yeah, I mean, come on. Come on, Sports Illustrated. Cover a scotch match. Yeah, yeah. Cover a scotch. You know what we're talking about. I mean, them kind of girls have an expectation of if I like you, you bomb to yeah. like me. Yeah. You, I mean, how dare, how dare, how dare you, like, how dare you not like me? It's like, like no, it's like, like bro, you know who I am? You know, you know, you know, 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 know. They tell this girl, they tell this girl, they tell this girl, they tell this watch. I can, I mean, and this is funny thing, but they would never feel satisfied. If it is, they post a picture and they get a twelve hundred likes. See if you, you don't like that. See if you don't like that. <laughs> so there, so there, so I know a few of them, problems. right? On their bad day, they just delete the one that has yeah, get they one like yeah, they that. Yeah, they delete that. Yeah, they don't on aggregate, they don't do well for the and stats. I find that nonsense. <laughs> Some of these, you see that mentality of just because I like. <laughs> Let me hear. So, uh, uh, We talk about this already too. Be, we, 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 this be, be gentle, babe. Be gentle. We have, <laughs> we have that in our actual whole lecture. Yeah. But like, no, nah, that's that would have been like three it's or something. Really one, yeah. Yeah. Really one. But um, and I think we should revive that topic again. And we'll talk about it in much more detail in another lecture. But. The, to deal with that, re, that whole rejection thing, it has to do with kind of always talking about without finding your happiness from that person. Yeah. You cannot be relying on other people to 
give you that personal satisfaction, that little shot of espresso in the morning yeah. that you need to feel good about yourself. And, you know, I've learned from interacting with girls that when it is the first time you talk to a girl, that's not the first that was orchestrated. Yeah. yeah. You might be blissfully on way, but you were there because they, and they were around you because yeah. it was planned in their way. And so that might be your first interaction, but she already have this huge expectation as to how they're supposed to play off now. Because if she liked you. Correct. Yeah. So we talk more that because rejection we deal with. And when it do go like that, let's like suppose I just not really on you and I just get I kinda hear was this single web and you need to understand that when your brain not in my brain and that's fine. Yeah. That is fine. Just don't don't use it to now create this final conclusion about all the interaction. Man. Okay. It didn't have to go that way. How about the story? I will keep it short. Alright. Are you able to deal with them things because I went through them early in Yeah. Yeah. I check in, I check in the snatch on the table and I realize that by a couple of shades I probably the darkest one. <laughs> <laughs> and dark men just go through it, you know. Dark men just go through it when I was in form one, but not form five. And our best thing that I was probably shooting out of a range, you know, but I just say, but well, fuck that. <laughs> anybody could get anybody. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw man, I saw man just jump up the high cliff and swim to now, but yeah. And other brethren who had leave another school, basketballer coming with Grand Hills and thing, and he end up, he end up scoring the points now. Uh, it was more of a alley than a yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. I, I right. feel it, you know. I feel it. And yeah. then many days I just watching them loving off in the corner. And I said, but and you're so what's, 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 what's my so problem? So I'm telling you, right? I had a change my soap. Wait a minute. No, and I, 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 I come to terms with, 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 with the reality is, you cannot control how people mm-hmm. feel. Yeah. Because people can't control how you they feel, yeah. boy. Yeah. Like that love, emotion, that excitement that people just feel that even them could control that. So mm-hmm. how you want to control that? I would say that, two that, I would say two things on that. The first the first tip I will say is is that again, buzzword, you have to be the source of your own happiness. Mm-hmm. So regardless of who come in and out of your life. 80% because we ain't saying that you when you love off, you love off and those people have a significant impact on you. And I ain't saying no to that. I went through that. I'm telling you. But it cannot be 50-50. It also can be 60-40. You have to have the majority of the responsibility in terms of bringing happiness and peace to your life. Outside of that now, you also need to remember, I mean, nobody ain't saying to be too cocky, but you is the shit. You ought to have some, some yeah. level of confidence in yourself that, yo, I real hard. If, if I not in your life, you lose, dog, because I bring in X amount. Now, this, again, is, is, like, is kind of advanced because you have to be hard. <laughs> but, but, so you can't just come and claim hardness if you're, if you're not hard, because if you're not hard, then oh, that bro. person actually, you know, yeah. it's a place. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, you have to now have a certain level of confidence to know that, Dan, I was bringing X amount. So, if you choose not to experience X, what? Sorry, Ty. Mm. Hello. Whitney Gomez. <laughs> oh, we call you names. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Like story story. Story. I mean, they you know I like to leave everything <laughs> on the fucking is. table, right? Is. Boom. No. Your boy, this a real quick story. Your boy in Form 1, bam. We your boy in Form 1, pull up, week after, Form 1 start, me and Whitney together, ting, ting, ting. A week after that, this is after Hurricane Katrina, don't forget. Couple days pass, school start back, Whitney is by the front of the classroom, home room. I look into going my class, mental health agri science. Kadeem, the book closed. I was like, what? <laughs> what? That's what like, you say, the book closed? No, I would really? never forget that. I would never forget. The book closed. When I do so two days after my girl pumping on the hot boy on on on, on in school, thing thing thing. I was going mad again. Yeah, the good children take the lead. I was going mad. My bedroom doing treatment. I would never forget him. Yeah, Pull me square yeah. day. Pull me square day. He said dog. Are you real cool dog, you have X amount of thing going on, he's a man this, he's a man that, boom, 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 boom. That you with me lost, don't worry about that. So that 
in itself is one example of realizing that you have you know a lot to offer and then two i was involving myself in things that brought me peace i was playing my football mm. was i was playing my music <laughs> i was doing this i was doing that and i was you know still maintaining a level of sanity that, right. that right there is the core of the whole thing once you know yourself you can find happiness within yourself and you have things going on Rejection is just going to be sharpening at the blade. Yeah. It's just you had to crack a few eggs to make an omelette. Yeah. You understand? Know, but so what, what about people who don't heal from prior toxic relationships and ending over? Don't be entering into do situations not and if you don't. Yo, healing is something that starts internally. That's a whole No thing. one can put a plaster <laughs> on a wound for you, no boy. Like, you have to forgive yourself and the situation. Forgiving yourself is our you next thing. And then pull yourself things. up when you're forgiving yourself. That'll happen. <clears throat> Eternal Google for that. Yeah. That is a sit down with yourself. But, but I would also say, um, and, and talking to the men, Start practicing some some accountability. Yeah, you know, boy. Help people get closure. Yeah, boy. Sometimes yeah, men. Sometimes, sometimes sometimes the women need to talk to you about the shit you do. It's our it's you need to get it. closure. Nah, yeah. You need to just you need to relax and and, and, and take your part up to closure. You just end up jamming dog. <laughs> Nonsense. I mean, <laughs> uh, hey, I mean, closure, I closure, man. I mean, 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 Please do not go into somebody else's life with your toxic baggage and rest it on them. Yeah. And our relationship is really. A relationship is really an ability to coexist with another human being. Eh? Mm-hmm. And that in itself means that part of you will imprint on mm-hmm. them and part of them will imprint on you, the good and the bad. And mm-hmm. if you have too many toxic things going on with you, Contaminate. you understand? Yeah. So find a way to deal with it before. And, you know, even if you find that, let's say you get into the relationship and you realize after you end deal with certain things, be mature enough to say, I cannot be in this right now. I'm not ready for a relationship right now. Yeah. I need to work on me. Yeah, I understand. Seeker, Sometimes people purpose. say, that is shit. People, that is shit talk, but it's real. No, that's Seeker. No, that's Seeker. Seeker, 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 they're not interested. Yeah. Men want to read that for men, sure. Yeah, men, men, men definitely picking up on that. Yeah. yeah. Men. My, most, most men. Man. Most <laughs> men. <laughs> most girls, no, 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 no. In my experience, girls don't want to read that at all. When Again, like, they, 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 not, they don't yeah. want to talk to them. They don't want to It's like, like what? Yeah. Girls, in, like, girls really, it's not even that they can't deal with rejection. They don't accept it. Mm-hmm. Are you aware that there's vagina here? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's mine because they just feel like if that one is the one, the last one, the last one, the last one. Don't flatter yourself, beloved. Don't flatter yourself, beloved. That's my mental motto yeah. right now. And to be the more toxic thing is, some things are more important than you. Sometimes there is nobody else. You know, sometimes I just cool. I cool myself. Cool. That's enough. 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 I like just cool on this vibe right now. Yeah, I need that best. Yeah, 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 they, they feel as though, you know, just because they're on you and you not on them, somehow it, it had to have a whole... A next. A whole... Yeah. It, it, it sounds like a Ocean's Eleven behind mm-hmm. that way. Mm-hmm. It, it's not like that, bro. And, 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 and the next thing is too, that g- g- girls will use their sexual appeal or sex to feel as if is a guarantee now. Mm. You understand? And 
like if you yeah, I'm not sure that but kind of. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay. that's Yo, like still offensive, bro. Yeah. I feel offended by that. It's <laughs> not just do this break down. Feel a bit of the yeah, the jam show. Yeah, don't know about that. They don't know about that. that. And, and you know, it's a good thing we talked about that last week. You see that whole area of self control, especially the ability to control your sexual desires, that's real important, bro. Because right, yeah, the challenge is still going strong. Bro, oh, oh, we look at Kareem. Make it shaky. I ain't looking shaky. I was not a part of that challenge. Oh, nah. Oh, you're not part of the challenge. Nah, that's that's not, not my vice. That's not my vice. That's not my vice. No pornography, no masturbation. I stopped since December. Yeah, that's not my vice. The challenge is challenging, man. You nah, going last year. You going strong since you when? Since last, 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 like, last, yeah, last week. Last week. Last week. No, 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 Cool. Yeah. As, a, as an artist, no. For me, as yeah. A, if it's artist, 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 slightly. No. Here was it, it can't baggage, dream yeah? me. It can't dream Slightly. It has to be a baggage. baggage. It, has a, it has to be a baggage that I could deal with naturally. Yeah. It has to be compatible. Baggage. Yeah. It's it's not, be compatible. And not today, not today, not today. But there's another day that we will talk about compromise because there are certain things that I have in my lineup. Of this compromise. That here we're good on. I, I could deal with X, bring X to my deal with X. But you see this, I like again, this has come from knowing yourself. If it is you know for sure, in order for me to, to, to be my best self, I cannot deal with this, that, and the other. That's if right. your baggage right. is this, that, that or the other, then I'm we not can't I, I can't drain myself here. No I can't but drain the, myself. The key fear. thing in that question for me was the word love. And I know for me. When I in love and like love, love, love the yeah. big roots. Yeah, you you could once it not it not killing you because you know that that's part of the person. You yeah, know? and I could and, love this still. and and but it's have things it's have things about you that might be draining them and you don't know and them there for you. Yeah, so yeah. you have to put that in the back of your mind. Sometimes they might need you to be there for them. Mm, my my litmus test so that is is it compromising my purpose. Right. Yeah. The reason that I have yeah, formed yeah. to stay alive yeah. and to deal with my own shit. Yeah. If that is interfering with that, then it interferes with my yeah. interfering with my goodness. Yeah. True. And then I would not be good for myself or you. True. Right. Just gonna and then too, and then too, shit. like like the 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 engagement needs to be of a particular stature. I not doing that if it is we know so to talk or if we're doing this. Don't thing. do it if we not together for a year. Uh, yes. Yes. If we do if we do our <laughs> so, if we do our some some catalog. Yeah, yeah, we had some catalog. We had some catalog. We had some catalog. Now we get. I ain't dreaming myself. I'm cool, cool. I'm cool, cool. Anyway, that's only question. Are men interested in facilitating platonic relationships? All the time. Yeah, hundred percent. I have. I am. I am way, I am way more interested in platonic relationships than any other kind. Yeah. I am way more yeah. efficient yeah. and productive. Among platonic, platonic women, yo, someone having a very stimulating conversation with the opposite sex is enough to muse further creation. But, but because you start to hear objective standpoints and different colors and things that come from that, sometimes part it's part just, just energy. Energy, sometimes no, just, just energy. energy. Sometimes all the time, all the time, the time foundation energy, energy, of the humanity no, 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 came no, 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 out no, no, of no. the union and the dichotomy of mm. male and female energy it is in everything it is in colors yeah. it's, it's, in, it's, it's in the way we 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 like and dislike certain things you know people don't want to disregard and say they want to tie that into this concept of no gender rules or gender rules or whatever but at the end of the day things, have, of rules. things have feminine and masculine energies which and makes it both of them necessary now yeah. it's like good and evil black yeah. and white facts it's Balance. necessary so to me like that platonic female interaction is like it, it, it's unmatched bro yeah, it's yeah. unmatched because woman woman like i i mean 90 percent of i shouldn't say 90 
but a significant portion I would willing to say about seventy percent of my friends' friends is women. Yeah. I was I was raised by predominantly women. Yeah. So just being Facts. a wrong woman is where I feel comfort. comfortable. And, I, so I and, think, and that helped me understand. I, I wouldn't say I understand women. It just invite I have, the girls. I have a I have a, I have a str- I have, I have a strong <laughs> I, have, I have a strong sense of being a wrong females. So it's like I could I could I could hold my own. Yeah. Yeah. And plot other relationships. I mean my question is like I think that's some Easy girl, sir. some yeah. things yeah, sometimes um you know girls might think that they want to be under but then it is have this thing where some certain reason girls would think that you on you are on a scene mm-hmm. or you on a height you know to know somebody and it's about your ulterior motives and you know in my experience girls like to act according to like they've made a conclusion about something yeah. and they move into suit. So if they've concluded that I feel this man trying to be on me, mm-hmm. they know do they don't understand why you trying to be my friend alone. Yeah. They, they don't yeah. they don't take that out of their brain that it's yeah. like it's like one or zero. And that is like that is Yeah, but that is the real potential. Thing. Like I could be on you fully and still just right now. Be your friend, like I just want to be your friend. I want to know what you're saying. Like, that's true. Do, but so that, that problematic, yeah, because you see, sometimes you see when they check in for you and they're giving them certain privileges. That, nah, you know, nah, I just that's don't like, like those privileges. privileges. Yeah, yeah, privileges. Yeah, 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 be no. careful. Yeah, I, be I careful, can tell that at least in the last year of my life, a little bit more. If I see somebody and I find like I, you know you just see that pure aura mm-hmm. and you just feel it if I see that I'm only really going to interact with you to a certain point because that aura is really attractive to me yeah. Right? Yeah. and I, I know I know in my mind that's not where I am so I don't even want to mess, mess that yeah, up yeah, I, I just yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. don't talk to me too much I want one point there man one of these men in this room of a certain Esquire status right we, we know nice things, we just collect nice things, and we know how to dress up now, right? And I'm sure for all of us, there are moments when you walk into a room looking your best, feeling your best, and you're just feeling that tension across you. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. somebody you meet before. Yeah. A yeah. total change, and you turn off. Pheromones, bro. Eyes locked for, and you know, this could be a problem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This yeah, could be a problem. problem. <laughs> and without massaging it to happen, without finessing the situation, just so happen, or you end up having a beautiful conversation. <laughs> Bro. And the man you name you would like to meet. <laughs> but also this you kind of interaction don't happen. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I'll find out you can like what's now? I just wanna hear Oh, you did one. Yeah, no. no. Like, you eat, like, what are you studying? Why are you studying what? now? What is uh, this? You eat? You eat today? Yeah, what's going on? on? You thought of loving it? Boy. X, Y, and Z, that was going on the other day. Yeah. You saw that? You saw that? Mama, what I tell you, you should go and do. Tell you that? Hey. You went to the doctor. What did the doctor tell you? I don't want to really line. I don't want to touch you up on my yeah. bro. Like, it just, I didn't want to understand it. Nah, nah, sometimes the energy that you get us be unsolicited. And you started to tell them, yo. So many best help moments. Me help you. Yeah, I please do. Yeah, just help me help you. Keep on the stunt skill because yeah, I know you're the best. I can't do that. The I amount of ideas I could tell you just bounce. Like, even when you we love and sing, dog, it's curious. Yes. Yes. We curate. Do we love it? That's why do we love it? We full of girls. Yeah. Yeah. But it's women coming. <laughs> Yo, now nah, boy, you boy, you sure? I feel like that shit. Why you don't try this? Yeah. You see that? Why you don't try this from a female? Yeah, but that's a game. Dog, you see what I'm saying? Why don't you try this? Why don't you try this? It's a real thing. We really, this is a real thing. We go, we go. So, you know what we're doing? I want to get back and invite, though. Let's go. Alright, I'm going to look at you. I'm going to drop it. Let's go. You know what we're doing? Next lecture, at least two of the last set of questions we get here. You see the compromise rejection thing. And. 
Why don't try this? And the platonic thing? Mm. Yeah, the platonic. Right. We need to at least incorporate that and then we will touch on the topics we didn't do today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So you already know what we're doing for lecture yeah. 11. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, lecture, you're coming back? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Seeing that. Hopefully, we want any regular lectures here and we'll try and get one and I guess it's as somebody who clamoring to come on the show, Easy Jimmy. Easy Jimmy. You might get a Easy. Yeah. 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 You understand? So you know like Jimmy a busy man. You know. Jimmy. Anyway. We we like to hear them the recaps. So Easy Nyla on the album. Mm-hmm. Big six, right. right? Um The Real. Two is then we went into iTunes, all the platforms. Yeah, check it out. Oh, mm-hmm. all the local artists support everybody. We go we will hit up on this. Jumping on this. for sure. Yeah. And yeah. some YouTube links and whatnot. Keep I, the, I push make, the culture forward. I can make one shame last part. Right? Oh, what we were going to say before last, but you go through. Yeah. On in darkness. Yo, yeah, got got Independence Day. Independence Day, yes. Yes, sir. All the platforms. Born in Darkness, music video. Music video. Oh, the song YouTube. Bro, I love that song so much. Subscribe to Free Town on YouTube. Stream the album, stream the album. Subscribe to Freetown for life. For life. For life. I want to tell you something. I think that's a good thing. Just tell me. Freetown was actually the reason why I got into like performing and writing. Mm-hmm. I think from days in the guy and them kind of thing. Yeah. Freetown, there's some of the reasons why me and he started a real life. Yeah. 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 Oh, they don't know. Nah, nah. 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 Nah, I bought a physical copy, I bought a JC every time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Come on, man. Red eye on the red eye flight. You're gonna leave me in the bed. I just, just, I just have one so complaint. Yeah. Eh? I just have so one me. complaint. Real. I find that you all do perform like man enough and have a problem with that. True. Like that, man. That will be addressed. Say no more. Say less. <laughs> that will be addressed. <laughs> right? That Go to the address. source. Yeah. Um, <laughs> rule number one. What, what was right. the topic? Go to the after source. The, Local artists. After that, we went into um, do force it. Do force it. Do force, force, force it. People, please find who you are inside authentic. and be authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Be yourself. Mm. Be yourself. And don't be insecure, afraid of your true self. Like your true self is your perfect self, it's your absolute self. Be that at all times. Yeah. You understand? Right? Ageism. Adults, we plead and make a turn. If somebody. I ain't know about that. <laughs> but if, if anybody hearing this, we have a lot of awful positive youths. Not even, I, I not even really asking for myself because I realize that the crop below me harder than me. Harder than me. Yeah. Harder than me. And them need them those opportunities and you know Spice hats off to the people who doing it from our age oh, group and those so are a little older. Job righteous, it, man out there. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, um yeah. and. Well, we touch on it in the end there, the man is shit, the girl is shit. Which is actually the opposite, because girl is not shit and man is not shit. We just need to Nobody grow. We just we flow just and we just pull our friends and are comfortable. Like and we need to spend more time. We need to spend more time trying to understand each you other. Shut up. Yo. That's what, yo. Right? Um, thanks for the live. Those of you who there still, we love you guys. We made it to like 10. Big stuff. This is our Dang. milestone. Um, yes. You know the podcast growing, Good. encourage Good. people to listen. This is what we're about, you know, just trying to push that positivity. Um yeah, there's the platform, you know, we start with the square. This is Samara. Sports the 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 media. Media. to the team. Yeah. Guys, yeah. the group that we have experienced in the last hashtag MVP. <laughs> the group that we have experienced in the last three lectures. We really had to give our little hats off to Samara. Yeah, big stuff. Yeah. Um Oh, and I have to plug my son, guy, who ma- mix and master the last podcast that you all... Well, not mix and master, but mix the last podcast that you all really said the only quality was up there. Um, Joshua Griffith. He goes by the artist name of I Am Company. Check out his yes. yes. Them fellas and them can mix. I followed him, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah I followed he him, dog. He was he in the last Bohemia room. Real yeah. energetic, powerful voice. His father is a pastor of Takariga Open Bible, so you know... He have that gospel mm-hmm. in his veins. I am company. Later yeah, today. I am company. <laughs> with a key. Company is a key. Um, yeah. Um, visuals from Millennial Studios. Big six. Bye to everybody on the live. This has been lecture 10. We don't have the name of it yet, but it's coming soon. And stay tuned for lecture 11, yeah? Yeah. Boom, boom. Six. six.